So what'd you think? It was painless, so I was nervous, but no need to. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was, and what's funny is, like I said, this will be good to go. I mean, really sealed up in about three days. I still don't just stay away from muddy water for seven, but I don't think you're gonna be going to the lake anytime okay. soon. Yeah. But what, what I saw in there was interesting, and it wasn't really a lot of damage. So this is the bone. So this is, if I had to put this up right, that's your leg sitting up straight. Okay. And that's the bone underneath. So what we have is the the part underneath that, that goes up and down. Mm -hmm. And this is this the part that comes up the shin. This is where you have that little, remember I told you like a little piece of cuticle kind of yeah. peeling up a bit. Not terrible, uh, but that's what I'm worried about is. Oh, I see, yeah, that looks worse. Like, so your foot's this way and okay. it goes up and down like that. Okay. So I think you kind of crush it up this way into the cartilage and that's the inside of your ankle joint. And you might have some, what we call subchondral fracturing right there, mm -hmm. which is a little bit of the bone getting fractured, that trabecular honeycomb-like bone that, that feeds the cartilage. Okay. So again, it would just be a trim job. Okay. And if for some reason it's something more. Uh, the other good news is down here, that's your ligament on the outside of your ankle. Okay. Nice, perfect condition. Good, good, good. Perfect condition. And then um, I think this was another shot. Yeah, it was another shot of it on the side. And this was another uh, video. So it showed me kind of coming across the front. There's some of that detachment. The other cartilage looked really good over here. Okay. And then as I came across, I saw a little bit of uh, detachment there. And, um, but again, and it's also great for me to refer to if we have to do something mm -hmm. later. Okay. And that's basically it.